happy morning to everybody. A wonderful afternoon and a great evening. We're almost completing three weeks now. And believe so fast. So fast, so midway to the program. Tomorrow, we'll be sending a self assessment questionnaire to understand how we have improved from day one to day 20, 21. So it'll be a good way to sort of contemplate upon and reflect upon our own self. That questionnaire is maybe takes about 10 minutes, about 10 questions. Some of you have been in the past program, have done that. So it'll be good to go through that and see how we are progressing. So that we'll do tomorrow so that by the time we finish 20 days, 21 days, so that you can fill that up and back, send it back to us. One of the I would say core or final principles of the manifestation is that when we do that dreaming or visualization or whatever, after we come out of meditation, we cannot go back to our old self. When we are living something in the mind where we feel it is so real for us, it's happening for us. It's happening, it's real. So we come out of meditation and then we cannot just start behaving again like the old self. Okay, I don't have money, so I can't give it to anybody. Uh, I'm still not expert, so I can't share with anybody. You can't do that. Instead, as if it's happening for your life right now. Oh, my leg is still paining, so I can't really run. If that has happened for you now, so how whatever that you are doing in your visualization, you start attempting to do to the extent possible. We have to start living. We, it's about believing truly that Yes, I am a new system, new beliefs are there. So then you start applying it. You don't wait for something to happen in a plateau coming, right? Instead, you start applying. You have to start living that new life from now. So you wanted to contribute. If you had that raise, you wanted to contribute to some project. Don't wait for the raise to happen for you to contribute in monetarily. If you wanted to contribute 5,000 rupees a month, now you contribute five rupees a month, but feel that abundance and then do it start with what you have. You want to do three kilometer run every day if you get better with say knees. Do it now, maybe 100 meters. Just 100 meters, I'm sure you can do 100 meters. Those who cannot move at all, take those one, two steps. But we have to live as if that future is happening to us. That means that we truly, truly believe that it is true. It is true. So we have to exhibit that, demonstrate that to the best extent possible. And this is the time we push ourselves beyond the comfort zone. If it is comfort zone, then you say, no, no, I can't. I'm going to fall off. If I get off the chair, I'm going to fall off. So that's because we've gotten used to a certain level of comfort zone based out of fear. So, but we got to push ourselves a little bit, a little bit in every day. In every visualization that you had, if you wanted to, for example, plan a holiday, an international holiday, for example, it is going to feel good about it. Do something now. Don't wait for that thing to come and then say, okay, that international holiday will never come after a year, two, three, four years. But do something, now, some holiday locally. Go with the family for a small outing, whatever. But do 
in a smaller scale or layer to the larger scale feel as if it's happening and we're going to do it. If you want to take larger responsibility, then promotion is giving you larger responsibility, but then what stops you from taking responsibility now? You can ask for something more within what you have. And then take that because that's one thing that feels you, gives you happiness. And then you take that and then ask, talk to your managers and then take something new. I mean, companies are always encouraging to do something different. So like that, when we come out of the manifestation visualizations, we cannot go back. We have to avoid going back to the old self and then you've got to be in that new self, with that new belief that you formed, that this, that was no longer me. That was no longer me. As a woman, I had thought that okay, there are limitations in the society for me to do everything that, say, men are doing. But that is no longer me. Why can't I be in the boardroom as anybody else? Yes. Many feel guilty whether I'm taking care of my children properly, taking care of family properly because I'm working. So then a lot of times they carry the guilt feeling. No. You're doing to the best of ability. So that's no longer me now. It's not there. So whatever that you stop from doing because of that feeling, now you anyway you're visualizing. So you do that to the extent possible now. So visualization manifestation works great when we start living as a new self from now, not waiting for something to happen. But when you start doing it, because then yesterday what our was keep saying is that the universe is conspiring to come in and help. So that, so whatever that we were in that comfort zone, everything that you're visualizing is pushing you beyond the comfort zone. And whatever that we were in the comfort zone, we got to come out of the comfort zone, which is always holding us back because of fear. Only fear is holding us back. And we set into sort of a nice comfort zone and say, okay, this is good, this is good. So let me not step out of the boundary. But in this thing, we move ourselves beyond the comfort zone. We got to do that. Try it out, dear friends. So this is easy. We'll always find ways of living that new future now. We'll always find if you, oh, how is it possible? It's so difficult for me to work. Already I'm having tough time to meet my ends. So where is the question of me contributing something? I just don't have time. Only when I become manager that I get the time to share with people. I just don't have the time. There's no way I can take that course to become a manager. There's no way, just so tied up right now. This is what the mind will tell you. That's the current reality. But the new reality, you want to manage, you want to manage larger teams, then you got to develop some skills. So there's got to be some training you want to do. So take up, if you're not 10 day training, take up half day training. Join the online, register online and then do two hours of thing. Go to the conference. Something you got to do towards that goal, which is part of your visualization or dreaming. Let's go into um, breath mindfulness meditation once again, dear friends. And by the way, every time we meditate, it is helping us get over that fear. We, 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 we've heard about this. First thing that we are losing, dropping is the fear is slowly getting dropped. Meditation is absolutely helping us to take the resolve to go beyond the comfort zone. It's all about pushing us beyond the comfort zone. Our talents come out, we know, is when we push ourselves out of the comfort zone. <clears throat> so you like walking in the night because fresh air, but then you're always scared. Either some dogs will come or something will come in the, 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 the park. So your comfort zone, there is a fear because of which you know, we just put ourselves in a comfort zone. We only go in the daytime. But just break that fear. How do you break that fear? Just jump in and do one time. That's all. It requires one time to do. 
Robin Sharma gives a lot of these small, small tips. I think there is a book here, The Saint Surfer and the CEO. Start with monk, so monk who sold his Ferrari. To overcome fear, one of the great ways is to jump in and do that one time. And the first time, and when we do that with a lot of courage, we muster all the courage and say, I'm doing it. What happens? What happens? What's the worst case? It's like fear of looking bad, fear of that scare, that you suddenly get scared. So maybe you'll at worst, you run away, right? That's all of the dog chase at you. What happens? Maybe a small heart. Fear of that, fear of <clears throat> bad health. That's why you're not venturing out. Fear of losing uh, health. There are many such fear. Fear of looking bad. So fear of failure. Just get out of it and then do once with muster courage. And then automatically we will, second time it becomes so easy. And a third time is just becoming, we already got past it. By the way, fear is also the number, first barrier out of the four barriers in any progress. And so is for the spiritual progress. We go into deep meditation, suddenly body becomes cold. Or suddenly, you know, one part of the head is spinning and something else is happening. Then we say, okay, no. Withdraw. This is not for me. This is like something I can't understand it. So let me put it aside. And people pull back. Everything in meditation is great. There's no harm at all. All we're doing is relaxing the body. So all of, whatever the experience we're having, we are definitely pass. Every stage of those experience will pass. Usually within the six weeks, we will pass. That extra energy in the body, extra sensation of the body, and many, many out of the body kind of experiences, all of that we will go past it in the first six weeks. And then by then we'll understand, go past means we'll understand why something is happening to us a lot more deeply. So we will not worry about it anymore. <clears throat> Relax yourself dear friends. And those of you who join new, welcome to this program. We are doing six week mindfulness meditation. We are into the third week ending. The meditation technique that we follow is breath mindfulness meditation, which means we are aware of our normal natural breath for the whole duration. Goal is to empty our mind. And when we observe natural breath, we empty the mind. And the posture is very, very comfortable posture. And for that, we remove our specks. We close our eyes, fingers into fingers, like that. And then rest your hands comfortably in your lap. Cross your feet at ankle. Three things, crossing the feet, fingers into fingers, clasping hands together, and then rest them comfortably. <clears throat> and then eyes closed. That's from the body and then sit a comfortable posture. And then from the mind, we got to just observe the breath so that mind becomes empty. We observe the breath. So our mind activity has to be only on the breath, now normal natural breath, and then mind becomes empty slowly, slowly. So before <clears throat> we start, we're doing something called elevating our heart. So feeling love, gratitude, compassion, one of those higher emotions in our heart, any of them, not all of them. If you can do multiple, it's great, but you know, if you had a great moment with a child, we felt so much loving to a child. So recollect an emotion of the past and then feel good about it in your heart, expand your heart, open your heart. A lot of people have a kind of, kind of question. I don't open heart. What is that opening or elevating heart? It's tough for me. It happens. It happens. If you stopped appreciating small things to be small, little things in life, <clears throat> When you step out and then if you didn't see, if you don't notice the flowers and birds and uh, trees, many times you have historical things on your way to office, then you don't see them because they just not mean anything to you. When we are withdrawn from life in many ways, then sometimes it doesn't. But slowly, slowly my meditation is easing us. And then we will feel that emotion. So it is okay, but keep working on it. Try to feel that emotion. Those of you who say, okay, it just doesn't open for me. 
someday heart will definitely because meditation is making us more sensitive and sensitive and sensitive so it's got to open because everything is lived felt here it'll open <clears throat> it'll elevate itself so we'll do an elevated emotion for a few minutes and then go into the breath mindfulness meditation i will clearly call out as part of my guidance so you know when to switch to the breath mindfulness meditation and then towards the end we are doing gratitude we express gratitude for everything and everybody in our life and close the meditation that way relax yourself <clears throat> sit comfortably